Hi, and welcome to question 12 of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Paper. As always, if you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetry at gmail.com. So we'll get stuck in. This is the last question of the 2022 Junior Cert Paper. And in a sense, I suppose have a read of it. It looks like geometry, trigonometry. The diagram below shows the circle K. The points A, B, and C lie on the circle. So A and B and C, and it looks like A, B is the diameter, which should give a hint as to what uh, is going on up here. It tells me that the length of A, B is, is the, or A, B is the diameter of the circle, and that A, C is equal to eight. So I don't know much more information, but I do know that this is going to be 90 degrees. Any angle off the diameter gives 90 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so I'm trying to find out the smallest angle. And I suppose the way to find out would be to find this angle and this angle, and then determine which one is smallest. Okay, um, right. So I suppose they give me here the area of the circle is equal to um, 25 pi centimeter squared. Now I know the area of a circle, okay, is equal to pi r squared. And this is a common thing in maths. Like if, if you can see those two statements, these two things are equal. So why aren't these two? And, and they are, okay. So we can equate them and write them equal to each other. Now straight away I see pi there, because I can divide by pi, it'll cancel that. If I do it one side, I can do it both. And in essence, if you see something common to both sides, you can just straight away cancel them. And an f at 25 is equal to r squared. Now I want to find out there, like, they don't want r squared, so I'm going to square root that to get rid of the square. If I do it one side, I'm going to do it both, and I end up with r is equal to 5. Now that's given me this length here, 5. But if I can follow on, so if that's the radius, well then so is this. So that whole length there is 10. Now I'm going to try find um, one of the angles. And I suppose it doesn't matter which one I do. Um, I'm going to find this one first, okay? Now, if that's the angle I'm trying to find, that makes this the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to try to use the trigonometric ratios. This is the hypotenuse, okay? And this would be the adjacent. So I'm going to try sine, okay? I suppose the three trigonometric rules I could use are sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cos of an angle is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan of an angle uh, is equal to opposite over adjacent. But I don't know the angle, but I do know what the opposite is. It's 8, and I do know the hypotenuse is 10. So the sine of some angle is equal to 0.8. Now I can find out what that angle is by finding inverse sine of 8 over 10. Now put that to the calculator. I have the answer on the next page. Okay, I'll just flick to it. Um, the angle CBA, this one here, okay, is equal to 53.13. Now, I'm not sure if that's the smallest angle because maybe this one is, it kind of looks like it is, okay? Um, I know this is 90. So if I take 90, okay, because these two angles here must equal the other 90, 90 take away 53.13 leaves me this angle here, which is 36.87. And that's it, that's the smallest angle. So I know all three angles. The smallest one is this one, as the angle at C, A, B. And that's it. Job done. 10 marks. Um, hard question if you don't remember that fact that the angles um, of uh, diameter of the outside of the circle is 90. Um, but you could have got to the attempt by just trying to find what the radius is. Okay. Like, why are they telling you the area if it's not useful? And that's where this equating against the area formula strategy would come into play. Right, so that's the end of question um, 12. So as always, if you want to copy these notes, just send me an email at shanetry at gmail.com. And if you're sitting the 2023 juniors or higher level, best of luck.